Hey everybody! Uh, well, tonight's video is about uh, sprouted wheat flour. Buddy! Every time I start a video, he starts barking. Let me show you that bitty. Bad bitty! Bad bitty! <laughs> Look at that face. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, the bitty! I'll have to wash my hands now. Okay, I'm up! <laughs> anyway, so tonight's video is uh, sprouted wheat flour. Now nah, he's gonna go get some toys now. Anyway, uh, basically I took some wheat, some um, organic wheat that I bought at the um, my local, uh, um, I guess, health store. Um, basically I filled the jar this high. It was a bit much, but it was the first time I sprout wheat, so I didn't know it was gonna, I guess, pop up like that. Uh, because the wheat absorbed the water, I left it in water for around of at least 12 hours so uh, the wheat was engorged with water and I rinsed it and then I left it for three days but every morning and night I rinsed it basically I put water in the in the jar turned it aside with the little screen I have let me go just go get that screen these are basically salsa pots that I've um, that I've just cleaned and um, sanitized, I guess. I use a mason jar lid with this little plastic grid that I bought. You can buy these in, um, uh, I guess, hobby stores. Uh, if I had a, po a mason pot, I could just use it like that. But the uh, salsa pot, it fits like that. So basically, that's what I do. I turn it around, rinse it, rinse out the water. Maybe you can do it two times, just to make sure everything is rinsed. Um, correctly and basically today is the third day uh, and the wheat is a little bit more sprouted than you want uh, I'll see if you can focus basically just as long as the um, the green cracks open like this the wheat would be ready to um, to dehydrate uh, this is a little bit more but you know I was working today so I couldn't film the video so basically two to three days your wheat is going to be ready and if you rinse it every night and every morning uh, there shouldn't be problem with uh, like fungus or something uh, but basically what you do after you rinse it I'm gonna rinse it again using this I'm gonna drain it a little bit uh, and afterwards I'm gonna put it in the dehydrator just like that there you go and I'm gonna dehydrate it all night uh, close to uh, eight hours at the lowest possible setting on your dehydrator uh, you can do it in the uh, the stove but again the stove might be a little bit too hot you can do it anyway dude. the green is just going to be a little more cooked I guess <laughs> and um, why would I go to all this water although it's not that much you know you just rinse a pot it takes like 30 seconds to do um, and what happens to the grain of course, the, uh, the chemical stuff inside of it, I guess, changes. And uh, it, it happens that the gluten content of the, um, the grain is going to go way down. Um, there's even been some people with uh, gluten intolerance that have been eating this and with no problem. So uh, I'm going to try that. I don't have exactly gluten problem. <laughs> So the reason I'm sprouting this, of course, is just because I'm curious. I want to see how it tastes. Um, and also, it's the, uh, the nutrients content, I guess, goes way up when you, uh, <coughs> when you sprout it. I have to catch my breath. Usually, I don't talk this long in my videos. Anyway, uh, you know, the nutrients go up. Uh, it's easier to digest. And it's also easier for the body to, um, I guess, to... Uh, to use up those new nutrients. Uh, basically, I'm not probably not gonna be making bread with this, um, but I will probably just use it like in recipes and stuff. Uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna load up the dehydrator, and uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, so we are the um, the morning after. Uh, basically, the grain is all dried up. Worked out very well. Uh, it's really crunchy. And let me just zoom, I think. You can still see some of those uh, little roots on there. Anyway, and what I did, 
I let it cool off uh, then you can store it in a mason jar just like that uh, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and when I do recipes that need the flour I'm just gonna pop in like a few tablespoons in my little meal I don't have like you know how much seed it would take to give you that much flour or something like that I'm just gonna eyeball it um, you know if it takes about two tablespoons I'll add just a little bit more um, usually it does the trick anyway this is just a spice mill uh, I use it to ground grind coffee also I have another one for coffee uh, it works great it's not as good as a flour mill of course because this eats up the the flour after a while uh, but you know you can get pretty good result it's not as um, I guess flowery as a uh, you know store-bought flour uh, but it would make a great artisan bread you know you could uh, you'd still see like some uh, mini chunks of um, of the grain anyway uh, where was I going with this oh yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this in recipes um, mainly like uh, the first one that comes to mind is a chickpea recipe that I'm working on um, basically it's like chickpea patties or chickpea nuggets um, I tried a few a few uh, internet recipes and didn't work out that well uh, so you know after a while I've decided to mix up a few recipes and create my own and yeah, I'm getting pretty good to some I'm, I'm going to uh, towards something really good so anyway I use some flour in them so I'm going to be using that flour and hopefully it will enhance the taste a little bit so anyway this is basically it for the um, <coughs> for the uh, sprouted grain flour, as you can see, beautiful shot. Uh, it's really not that much trouble, you know, with the rinsing every morning for what three days max. Uh, it took me not even two to three minutes the whole time, plus the dehydrating. Well, that all happened by itself while while I slept. Uh, so yeah, you know, it does look like a lot of trouble when you think about it. You know, you see it on the internet, sprouted grain, oh my god, it takes days and days. A little planning. If you're used to sprouting your seeds or using your dehydrator, it's basically no biggie, you know. It didn't even take me like, I don't know, not even five minutes of, uh, of real time to get to all this. So yeah, it's really no trouble. And you know, you can buy big big sack of those grains um, at the um, just get something <laughs> at the local uh, health food store I guess and you know you could germinate them using a big pot like this <laughs> nah maybe too much anyway oh, well who knows maybe I'll start making bread with these like I said it's not that much trouble you just have to you know do it so anyway do it <laughs> see you later guys oh yeah and you can hope for uh, more cooking videos, I guess, now. See ya.